it's Miss Minta and welcome back to another episode of the Disney Princess Legacy Challenge. So guys, we are back again in the Snow White household. So last episode, things got pretty sinister pretty quickly. I mean... We've kidnapped Malcolm Langrab because we don't like his mother. She's an absolute beehive biatch. And yeah, th that's it. It seems like such a while ago since I've recorded since I recorded this Let's Play. It's probably only like a week since I uploaded the last episode. That feels like such a long time and I really do love playing this. So, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to play a bit more and uh, hopefully it doesn't get too much more sinister than that already. I was actually just, you know, casually scrolling through YouTube because I thought I was sort of doing the legacy challenge wrong. I didn't know whether it was actually meant to create the princess or whatever. So, I was seeing what other people were doing and they were on like episode 10. And they and they still haven't had their first child, and I'm like, we're on episode seven, and we we've already had two, so I think we're not doing too bad, to be honest. Um, so last episode we had the new arrival of baby Rennie boy, and hopefully we will have another baby within the next few episodes. And now my game is frozen, yay! <laughs> um, so first of all, before I do anything, I just want to get pregnant again uh, <laughs> I know it seems like I really do rush these um rush these pregnancies but I don't want to have like a series that is like episode 149 on the next gen yeah um but anyway we'll wait for shinny boy to come over and then in this episode we're going to try and get Nancy to come over and blackmail and blackmail her to get the money because we need a new house i mean it is quite small already To be honest, we really could do with, you know, a bigger house. I mean, we're, we're going to be having got seven children, and seven children is a lot of kids, and we haven't got that much space. So I would also like to have, like, I don't know, a nice garden for the house, because this house is just sort of water at the front. I, I don't really like the landscaping on it. I like the house itself, but I don't think it is really suitable. Uh, I only chose this one because I really wanted to start the LP as quickly as possible and I, I had already made this one. It was already in my saved lots and I really, I did like the house. Um, it's just like a start house though, not as like, you know, uh, yeah, a, a let's play house. You, you, you know, like the, the eventual house that we'll live in. And for some reason, I don't know if anybody else has this, but my curtains are like really strange. Look, they, they change the colour when you click on them. I'm like, what's happening? And then, so you have to delete them, and then you have to buy them again in the colour that you want. So let me just grab the, uh, the peach, or the cream. It's a peach cream, whatever. And then it goes back to normal, so I don't know if any of the other ones are glitched like that. I think the dining room's ones are. Yeah, wait, no. Are they the right colour? Yeah, I, I don't know what's happening. If if you guys have that, I don't know whether it's just my game. Because my game is a bit of a bit of a weird one. Or, look, and when you click on green, it goes to a darker blue. When you click on pink, it goes to, like, a purple. So I don't know if that's something to do with, I don't know, lighting or something. And I don't even know if I have... Does everybody get that new lighting thing as well? You know how they had the new, the new, uh, what's it called? The, the new lighting engine? I don't even know if I got that. I think I did. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. So where is Shinny? I, I really want him to come over quick as possible. And is this set up? Yeah, it is set up front door because every time we invite someone over, they always come around the back and they walk through like this bush. This bush is like the magical entrance to our gateway. To our gateway to our kingdom 
uh, yeah, so I don't know what that's all about. Let's just change her outfit into her lovely little, her lovely little dress. Is Shin coming over or not? Did we even invite him? I'm pretty sure we did. No, he was sleeping, that's why. Sleeping at 6, 6 a.m.? Who is sleeping at 6 a.m.? Me, but you know. <laughs> we're not, because we're Snow White, and we don't need to sleep, because... Yeah, um, so, oh, he's sad about having a sibling, but unfortunately that is the rules of the game, so he's gonna have to get used to it. He'll probably move out as soon as he's old enough anyway, because I don't want loads of people running around the house. It would be nice to still be able to, um, play with the other siblings rather than just one of the legacy, the one that's gonna be the next generation, I mean by that. Um... I'm not that fond of Robin for some reason. You know how you get them Sims, which you're really like, oh, I, I'm so looking forward to playing with them when they're older. Because uh, my current household that I'm playing with, like, not for recording, I, I love every one of their children. I, I already vision characters for them. I'm like, oh, I know that one's going to have, like, a retail store and this one's gonna have like a restaurant and this one's gonna be like artistic and this one and this one's gonna be a bit of a rebel you know you know when you just feel like oh yeah I, I really I really do like that character I'm not feeling about I'm not feeling that with Robin you know I don't have a character in mind I don't I don't you, you know you I don't feel like I want to play with him. I just feel like he's there because he needs to be there, which I know is kind of bad. But I don't feel any. I, I don't feel any bond to the sim, which is kind of weird because you shouldn't really feel bonds with sims. But <laughs> I do. Um. So, oh, he's angry. Does that mean he's not gonna baby make with us? Oh no, he is. He is. He's going to baby. Me. Um. So let's just let them do what they have to do. Um. Oh yeah, he needs to go to school. So let's get him to do that. Bye bye. Bye bye, Robin. I never forgot his name. I keep forgetting his name. And so we've got Robin and Ren. Hopefully this next one is a little girl. I keep saying I really want a girl just because we need a girl for the next generations because it's obviously Disney princess. Um, what would happen if you had seven boys? One of them would probably have to like become a princess, you know? That, that could actually be quite a cool storyline, you know? But yeah, I, hopefully we get a Cinderella. That would be perfect because if it's the last child, it's going to take us forever and ever to, you know, to start the next generation. But I don't want to cheat it and eat strawberries and things. But if if we have six boys, I probably will cheat it, to be honest. Um, so let's just quickly take a test to check that it is all in working order. And then, uh, oh, don't freeze again. It's fine. It doesn't freeze for very long. Um, and then he can go home because we don't like him. We don't really like him, and Malcolm is going to get really bad grades because we're not sending him to school, but oh well. Oh, and these, this food's rotten, but I don't think he's that hungry anyway. I'm going to... Oh, it didn't work. Let's do it again then. <laughs> Won't stop until the job's done, eh? Um, so let's just do that again. I am actually going to buy Malcolm a bed just because um, when I get all the household to sleep, you know how you can fast forward the game a lot? That is really helpful for me just for recording purposes. But I, um, I don't want to make the room too big. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't sleep for very long because it's, because you can only nap in a chair. You can't sleep, like, actual sleep. Um, in fact, no, we'll get him a kid's bed because it's cheaper. Uh, so yeah. I, I will get him a bed. We're not, we're not that evil. We're actually quite good kidnappers. I mean, I didn't, f I don't think most kidnappers would give their kidnappy. Is it a kidnappy? I don't know what you call the person that's been kidnapped, okay? Um, yeah, I don't think most people would, would give them a bed. I mean, we're, we're pretty generous. And we still need to get Nancy over. Uh, we're going to get Malcolm to call her and tell, and tell her that he's out of town. That way she's not going to, like, bring the police or anything. Oh, the principal is calling. Oh, well. <coughs> I was going to say something then, but I ended up, I ended up coughing instead. Um, can we please just make a baby? I mean, we need to carry on Mr. Shin. Hopefully Nancy hasn't like, told him anything about us and Prince Wallace. Because actually, as much as Prince Wallace is like squeamish and hates children, I would actually like to marry him and have... Um, and live with him and have a house with him but i think the house is still too small to do that the one thing i do like about um let's that's a mistake um what was, what was i gonna say uh yeah uh, the one thing i do like about having a small house 
is that you don't lose sims. You know when you have like a really big mansion and then you lose your sims or you lose your guests? That's the worst thing when you don't know where your guests are gone because you can easily just double click on a sim and it'll take you to them but you can't do that with your guests. So yeah, it, that's kind of, uh, that's, that's the one perk of having a small house. But we can't get a bigger house until Nancy gives us the money. Unless she doesn't like us and then that would be kind of terrible because, you know, we've committed a crime for no reason. Um, will this time be workable? Work? Will this time work? 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 Yes, it has worked. Um, I don't think she's that big this time. I did actually start recording this Let's Play, but I wasn't kind of feeling it. So I started recording it and she actually had a big bump when I got her pregnant. But it's not that big this time. But that's fine. That is absolutely fine. And now we can ask him to leave. Um, we don't really need him for anything else. This sounds so bad. <laughs> um, let's just get rid of him and then we are going to get Malcolm. After he's woken up. But why don't you sleep, Malcolm, rather than just keep napping all the time? Uh, we will get him some food. We're not going to kill him off. Not unless Nancy's going to... Nancy's going to be awkward and then bad things will happen. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's fast forward this. Um, and then... Right, he's going, finally. And then, Malcolm, you need to link up your mama, dear. Mama, he hasn't got that good a relationship with her. It's more his dad, but we don't. We don't want to blackmail the dad. If things come to it, we might need to kidnap Jeffrey as well, or you know, do something bad with him. Um, just so Nancy feels the pain and she knows how bad we are, because we will, we will be, we will, we will play her. We will, we will mess her about until, until she, until, until what was it? Until um. She doesn't feel like living anymore. No, no, not that sinister. We're not that bad. Until, until she gives us the money. Yeah, that that that, that sounds better. <laughs> I sound like such an evil person. Was she eating some vegetable te tempura? Mm, looks quite nice. I bet the chef made that. Is he ringing her? Yes, he has. So hopefully Nancy will come over. He's just rang her and said, "Mom, I'm out of town." I don't care about school anymore. So she just thinks he's done like a runner because he's just a teenager and he's escaped home. When actually he's locked up in our basement. So we can invite her over. After we've et out tempura. Well, no, we'll do, we'll do it while we're eating it. <laughs> if that suits you, then that suits us. Um, and then we'll change our outfit just so we don't look. Oh, Nancy. Nancy would rather not come. I think you would, to be honest. I think you would, since as your son is locked in the basement. Um, let's feed Ren. Let's bottle feed the baby. Um, yeah, come on, Nancy. In fact, we're going to just have to get Malcolm to invite her over because she's obviously not going to come for us because she hates us. <laughs> Any surprise? Why? Um, Nancy Langrab will be right over. Of course she's she will um right so feed your baby quickly girl uh we yeah i really do want that new house before the second baby because we have the second the third baby can't count anymore um because this house i don't think there is any room for another baby to be honest and then ren will have to move in with um robin here she is so let's answer the door his, his pinching gone home it, it's just staying there it's fine like i said my game is red so we're going to go and be a bit mischievous we're going to scare her we're going to scare her and say you know is your son really out of town do you really know where he is <laughs> um it's so evil <laughs> she look at her face she's so smug oh my camera controls are very good she didn't do a very good job. Nancy Langrab is such a hard. She's like a walnut, you know. She she hasn't got no soft center inside of her. Um, we're going to um insult her. Let's trash talk about uh Malcolm. Is it Malcolm? I I always get the names mixed up. Yeah, Malcolm. Um, the other day when I was filming the the machinima. The, the Nancy story machinima. I was trying to use cheats to boost a relationship with Katrina. And I kept typing it in. I was like, why the hell is this not working? Because I, I typed it in about 10 times. Then I realised I was typing the son's name instead of the dad. He can't be all that bad. Oh, can he? Because he's rotting in my basement. Hmm? Hmm? So, oh, why did I keep freezing? I'm so sorry. My name is just not very good today. It's like, ugh, the worst thing ever. So, Malcolm is down here. And we're going to bring it Nancy down. 
and so she can hear him. So she can see that we actually have got a um, a uh, a secret lair um, at the bottom of our house. She, she's pretty flirty, you know. Uh, don't come on to us, girl. I mean, uh, we are taken with two people already. Plot twist, Nancy actually loves us and she wants to be our wife. That would actually be quite a good story. <laughs> There's so many things. Oh, standing pretty close there. Standing pretty close. Mm -hmm. I know it's a tight space, but you could be a bit further apart. Almost touching lips there. Oh my gosh. Bit close. She really doesn't like us, does she? Are we enemy, enemies, enemies, e enemies, <laughs> enemies? Yeah, that's fine. Where, where is she? Oh, she's here. Yes, we are enemies. So shall we let her in? Allow access to. Uh, we can't teleport her because she's not part of our household. Uh, Malcolm, I don't know. How are we going to get her inside? We're going to unlock and then we're going to chat in here. We should kidnap Mansi. Oh, no, because then she can't get our money, actually. Come on in then, little boo-boo. Come on in. Uh, welcome to my beautiful abode. I mean, it's even got a Malcolm involved. No, because now he's going to escape. What the hell is happening? Everyone but Snow White. Now oh, she's flirty. Little Minnell. Um, yeah, so basically we're just going to have a bish. You better get us our 50 grand. Because you know your son is down there. We know. I know your son is down there, and uh, I can do much worse than kidnap him. So why you evil behave? Um, so let's just be really mean to her. I really want her to get enraged and die, but they're both so, they're both so flirty. Do you know what we should do? We should flirt with her. <gasps> that would be like the ultimate blackmail, like, you know, you've, you, is she going, I wonder if, I wonder if this will actually work. I actually, oh no, I really actually want it to work, oh no, she's embarrassed now, oh, I wanted that to work, that would have been like the best, oh, that's not not Jake, not not who's there, it's me, it's me, I was wondering if after all these fallouts you want to be with me, um, Oh, I really want this to work now. <laughs> um, let's ask her if she's single. Like, hey, baby. I know you're married, but maybe you'd be single for me, huh? Mm -hmm. At least our relationship is going up. Wait, no. Do we want it to go up? I don't think we do. Oh, she really doesn't like us. Nancy, you were standing dead close to us down there. I know you have feelings for me. I know you do. So don't you point that manicured finger. In fact, she doesn't even have any fingernails. So. Um... Don't you dare do that. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she really doesn't want to. Um, Snow White is still so flirty. She's like, hey, you want to see my chest of drawers? <laughs> oh, no, that was really weird. Um, let's apologize. She, she really, oh, my gosh, Snow White. What? Oh, my gosh, now she's thinking about beds. Uh, and she's not sleepy. She's definitely not sleepy. <laughs> I really want them to have, like, what, where's Malcolm? What, how's Malcolm getting involved in this? I mean, you're down there, boo. Um, oh, no, that, Nancy's gone. Nancy's gone. So, anyway, on that revelation, I think we're going to end this part here. If you would like to... Wait, no. If you, I, I'm messing everything up. If you like this part, please don't forget to leave a like or comment. I'd love to hear what you got to say if you have any suggestions. And if you'd like to know more about when the videos come out or you'd simply just like to support the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.